Welcome to Adult Recognitions 101. We hope that this tutorial helps you understand the awards that adults can be given for their service and commitment to the girls and the movement. Who? The first thing we need to figure out is who is eligible for these awards. We want to look at which people haven't been recognized for major contributions and also provide service above and beyond their position. Start by looking around you. Who ran events, recruitments, made an impact on the in the past year? Ask other people in the service unit to think of people who fit the bill. Make a list and find out more about what awards they've already been given for this service. What? Next, we need to really look at what they have done in the past year. Once we know that, we can narrow down which recognitions would best fit their contributions. Was the service for just the service unit, the council, or the Girl Scout movement as a whole? All nominees must be currently registered members and have training for their position, so make sure to check with the appropriate person to ensure this has been done. Make sure you gain the support and endorsement of the person from the service unit and others, and remember to get specifics with data, if possible, to support the nomination for the service they provided. Awards approved by the service unit. All of the awards that are presented to volunteers are only given one time and require the person to be an actively registered member of Girl Scouts and complete the training required for the position. Both the Green Angel Patch and the Volunteer of Excellence pin are approved at the service unit level. These awards are usually the first given to a volunteer for their service. Volunteers in any role in the service unit or council can be nominated for these awards. The Green Angel Patch is given for creative, outstanding service to a troop or pathway. Examples would be a troop cookie manager, troop treasurer, or assistant leader. The Volunteer of Excellence pin is given for performance beyond the expectations to deliver the Girl Scout leadership experience to girls using the National Program Portfolio or for supporting the Council's mission delivery goals in addition, the nominee must understand and practice inclusive behavior. Both of these awards require the appropriate application and one letter of endorsement. The person who completes the application can also provide a letter of endorsement. Once you have all the paperwork required, it is submitted to the service unit manager for approval. The cost of the award is usually covered by the service unit. Once approved, the award is usually given at the end of the year ceremony in front of the service unit volunteers. Awards approved by the board. These are the awards that are approved by the Board of Directors of Girl Scouts of the Chesapeake Bay. Their requirements and nomination procedures can be found in the Adult Recognitions in Girl Scouts book, booklet. These awards also require active membership in Girl Scouts, training for the position held, and an application be submitted. However, these applications have a deadline of December 1st. This allows enough time for the board to process the applications and for the awards to be ordered. These awards are given at the GSCB annual meeting every year in April to those that have earned them. Here is the brief overview of the nomination cr criterion and application requirements. The Appreciation Pin for volunteers actively giving outstanding service to at least one geographic area or program delivery audience of service. Submit nomination form and two letters of endorsement to GSCB. Honor Pin for volunteers actively giving outstanding service in two or more geographic areas, submit nomination form and three letters of endorsement to GSCB. Thanks Badge 1 and 2 
for volunteers actively giving service impacting the council or the entire Girl Scout movement. Submit nomination form and four letters of endorsement to GSCB. President's Award recognizes the efforts of a service team, committee, or volunteer team whose exemplary service in support of delivering the Girl Scout leadership experience surpasses team goals and results in a significant measurable impact towards reaching the Council's overall goals. Submit nomination form and two letters of endorsement. Seagull Pin as a GSCB award, not nationally recognized, for any registered adult with a pattern of consistent service which impacts the entire Girl Scouts of the Chesapeake Bay Council. Submit nomination form and three letters of endorsement to GSCB. Awards approved by GSUSA. The Julia Gordon Lowe World Friendship Medal is approved by GSUSA. It is a separate form for nomination and requires direct submission to GSUSA. Juliet Gordon Lowe World Friendship Medal for individuals and councils who have enriched and leveraged the global understanding of girl guiding and girl scouting to grow responsible global citizens. This prestigious national award is approved by the Girl Scouts of the U.S. of A. National Board of Directors. Submit GSUSA nomination form and two letters of endorsement to GSUSA Vice President for Global Girl Scouting. When and where. When you are filling out the award applications, remember you need to provide all of the information you can so the committee or service team can make the decision. Make sure you answer the where and when for the service provided by the nominee. Remember that the people making the decision on the application may not know the person at all. It's your responsibility to include as many details as possible so they get the full picture of the person and the service provided. Include specific information to showcase exactly what the service was provided, what areas it impacted, how many people were affected, and whether the results were over and above the estimates, and when the service was provided. Paint the picture for the committee. Let them know everything that you can to make sure they understand the impact of service that the nominee provided. How. The last thing we need to know is how to nominate someone. There are forms on our website and links to online versions as well for each of the awards. The next slide actually includes the links to the online versions. There is even an online endorsement letter to make it easier for people to complete them. Remember these key tips. The person completing the application, the nominator, cannot write an endorsement letter. If an award requires two endorsement letters, that means that two different people need to complete the paperwork, one for the application, two for the endorsement letters. Two, give complete information. Remember the five W's and the one H who, what, where, when, why, and how. If you answer all six of these questions, you will have given a complete picture of the nominee and their service. Include as many facts and figures as you can so people reviewing the application can get a clear picture of how the service affected girls and adults that benefited from the service. Three, give full contact information. If there are follow-up questions, the committee can reach someone quickly and avoid delay in processing the application. Now let's take a look at the links to the paperwork. Links to paperwork. These are the links 
to all the online applications and endorsement letters. You can also find paper versions on our website at www.gscb.org in the Volunteer Toolkit under Adult Recognitions tab. The online version allows you to type everything in and make it easier for people to complete the endorsement letters. Remember that all the board approved awards are due with the Council by December 1st. Thank you for taking time to learn about adult recognitions. We hope this has helped you become more familiar with the process and what awards are available to thank volunteers for their time, talent, and effort that they have given to the girls and adults in our organization. If you have any questions, call the Council Office and we will assist you. Thank you for all you do to help create the leaders of today and tomorrow. Our volunteers lead the way for girls to develop their leadership skills and ultimately make the world a better place.